everybody. It is Mr. M coming to you, and we're talking about math. Now, yesterday, we talked about counting up, and I didn't really talk to you about why we count up. Now, it's a strategy for math, but when do we use that strategy? Um, well, we actually use that strategy a lot. It's an, although it's addition to count up, we use it in subtraction. How do you use addition in subtraction? Okay, well, let's work this out. Okay, let's do a problem. Something simple. 12 minus 7. Now I'm going to give you some words that you don't have to remember, but I'm going to give them in case you do remember them, in case it makes it easier for you. We have a number that we're subtracting, the 7. That is the number that we're taking away from the bigger number. That's called the subtrahend. You can remember this because it sounds like subtract, subtrahend. The bigger number, harder to remember, is called the minuend. But these have simpler names. The minuend is called the whole number. Like I said, that's what you're subtracting the subtrahend from. The subtrahend, now remember, is the number that you're taking out of the whole number. So, the 12 is the whole, and you're taking out 7. And what you want to find is how many numbers are between 7 and the 12. When you go to 7, how many more is it to get to 12? And that's the answer. So, let's write that down here. That's the number we're looking for. But we don't, there aren't three in between. I just did that to show you that there's some between. So let's look, how do we figure out 7 to 12? Well, we count up. 7, next number is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, how many numbers is that right there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We counted 5 up from 7. So, 12 minus 7 equals 5. Because we counted up 5 until we got to 12. And that is how you use counting up, which is addition, in order to perform subtraction.